Boyce Thompson Arboretum is not just a place for plant lovers. It's also a point of inspiration for artists of all kinds. There's plenty of natural beauty, but also a small corner of the visitor center is reserved for artists to show the results of their revelations. One of those featured artists in the month of October has been Sharon Sieben. The Arizona resident gave in to her muse at a point in her life when most people think about slowing down. I started painting in earnest about four or five years ago after I you know, totally retired and had the time because I traveled before that. I was um, a consultant for a company that set up computer systems, manufacturing systems, and uh, uh, kind of put them together for the company and then trained the users and that kind of thing. So it was a lot of traveling and a lot of time away from home. When you're traveling, you really can't do this kind of thing in, in earnest. I traveled all week long and, and it was just not possible. It was something that I intended to do and indeed did when I had the opportunity when that was when we came out to Arizona full time five years ago. Or, or these are my earlier pieces because I started out pretty traditionally um, with landscapes and, and tried to stick to realism. And I felt almost confined with that, and so I think that was why Day of the Dead felt good to me. I didn't have to paint it so that it looked like anything real. I could paint it the way it felt to me. And I've been doing that with, a, with some of my other pieces now. They are a little bit more contemporary, and I'm enjoying that very much. Day of the Dead is not a celebration known to many in North America, but Sieben explains what it means to her. I honestly did not know what it was about when I started painting them and I've gathered bits and pieces from people and it's just, I, I think I've summed it up and some person summed it up for me that it was all about living because we all get there sometime and the, and the thinking is so do today what you enjoy and get it all done now, you know. And that was one of the thoughts that I kind of stuck with me. So I guess my celebration of Day of the Dead is just doing them in all kinds of fun things to do. And I've done Urban Day of the Dead, uh, the traditional Mexican themes, and uh, the next thing I'm going to be sketching here and working on is a surfer. <laughs> we'll, ha we'll have a skeleton on a surfboard next, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but why skateboards? The piece that I did originally for that was uh, we done, uh, did a study in one of the uh, workshops that I did, and the assignment w for the workshop was to pick an old master for composition that you liked and do it in a contemporary setting. I chose a Rubens uh, cane slaying Abel and the contemporary setting was I put the figures on skateboards and I liked that piece very much so I did that then again in Day of the Dead. Sieben says many of her paintings start the same. I'll, I'll, have, a, I'll have a thought, I'll have a composition in my mind and when I, when I paint I don't typically sketch the whole thing out. I will draw a few motion lines on the canvas and it just kind of evolves from that. The piece I'm working on now, the, I put an S on the canvas for the girl and kind of like a less of an S for the guy and a little oval for the, the um, guitar player and I just sort of fill in the spaces. And she adds a note about finishing. No, that's the hardest thing. I'll, I'll take a piece and I'll set it in the living room near the television set where it's in my line of vision kind of and maybe maybe the next day I'll see something that I want to change and I'll change it and maybe I won't. I look at something quite a while before I sign it to see if anything pops out at me but it's very difficult to know when to stop and sometimes you can go beyond the point and that's not a good thing either. <laughs> Finally, some advice for those who would follow her example. If you feel like it, do it. You can, there are no rules, so just go for it. So, if you would like to see the work of Sharon Sieben or any of the other artists scheduled to appear, check out the events page at arboretum.ag.arizona.edu.